Hello and welcome. I'm Dave Ryan here with Hexagon Metrology, here to show you our PCDEMA software. Um, specifically, um, I'd like to show you how I would use our software on a manual machine. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. The first way being with our quick start routines. For those of you familiar with our older software, um, let's see, Micromeasure 3, uh, Tutor, um, Measure Max, um, I'm sure we've got some older ones as well, but um, those come to mind. Those routines, those softwares used what we refer to as task-oriented routines. So you would uh, walk through the software, you'd pick a task, and it would walk you through measuring what you need to measure to complete the task. Um, PCD machine really don't need to do that uh, anymore, and, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of that later. But for those of you who really like those routines and um, you know want to continue to do a task-oriented way, we've got the quick start routine for that. All right. So what I'd like you to do, uh, if you would, is pretend that this model up on the screen is a part that we've just put down on your granite table, and uh, this is my probe on that machine, and um, I'm going to simulate basically measuring the part manually using uh, PC Demos. Okay. All right. Uh, one of the things I want to mention here real quick before I start is uh, the layout of PC Demos I think is critical in regard to how you use it. I've designed this particular layout to show you our quick start routines. I've actually got four different layouts up here depending on what I'm doing. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can customize your layout to be just like this or uh, however way you need it to be to work best for you know what you're doing. Okay, so let's begin. We'll go over here to our alignment. We've got uh, several different alignment types over here and uh, they should all be pretty familiar with uh, all of you that know our older software. Here's our plain line line alignment which is perfect for this part. I'll pick it. So I go over to the machine and I take my three points on top, say next, take my couple of points on the front edge, say next, take my couple of points on the left edge, say finish, and uh, I am aligned to the corner and top of the part, okay? So that was just one example of using a quick start routine to do an alignment on your part. <clears throat> uh, let's see, some other uh, things that you could do over here are uh, if I wanted to go and let's say, oh, I don't know, I, I could go uh, dimension, let's say the location of the circle. Right, so I go measure a circle, say next. Um, it's going to ask me for a tolerance. Let's say I've got plus or minus five. It's going to be called location one, and it just reported the location. If I wanted to, then let's say get the angle of that uh, those two lines in the back. I go to angle, and I take my machine and I probe the two surfaces that I want the angle with. First line, click next. Second line, <clears throat> click next. Again, put a tolerance in. Put a nominal in, in this case 16. Call it angle one and I'm finished. And I've just dimensioned that. If I wanted to, uh, let's say, get a distance of some sort. Let's say I want to get the distance of these two holes. So again we come over here, we go to our distance routine and uh, I just start measuring the holes. There's one hole. Next. And here's another hole. Next, and uh, again, put a tolerance in. Now, 
nominal is two inches. Next, call it distance one, or you know, again, whatever you want to call it, uh, and then we're finished. Okay, so that's how you know you could use the quick start routines to sort of simulate how you used to do things in our older software. At this point, now I can come in and uh, take a look at my report, and I should have uh, again that location. The angle, 16 degrees, and then the distance between the two circles. That's in my report at the moment. Um, something else that you can do, which is pretty neat, uh, you know, I've already measured this this back line and and this this angle line and this back line. If I want to know where they intersect, um, I can come over to again my construction pick point, pick an intersection point and actually just uh, select the features right over here, line 3, line 4, say finish, and I just created this intersection point right over here, okay? Again, nice little way to just sort of follow a, a task-oriented uh, system around to complete different uh, dimension requirements. <clears throat> All right, so let me just show you maybe some other ways of handling things. Um, again, I've got some different layouts here I'd like to show you. I just showed you the quick start stuff. Let me just show you uh, just another way of doing things. In this particular case, I got rid of the quick start routines. I've got a construction toolbar here on the right, on the left, I'm sorry, uh, a dimension toolbar on the right, <clears throat> and the status window down here, which is kind of neat. Status window is nice because a lot of times on a manual machine, you just want to go measure something and see a result quickly. Um, now, the beauty of PCDMIS is I don't have to go select a task, um, let's say measure a point, for example, to do that. I simply take my machine, I put my status window on, I take my machine, I go over to the part, I take a point to part, I say that I'm done, and the status window instantly updates with the information that uh, is related to whatever it is you just did in this case that point. Notice it's smart in that it only records the axis of a point that makes sense for that point. So for example if I want to know where this edge was for my alignment take a single point on it, say that I'm done, changes from Z to X and it just gives me that value. So again you get quick intelligent results displayed in the screen without having to tell it anything just taking points and pressing done. Um, if I wanted to know, for example, where this circle was, I could just come over, take my three points, say that I'm done, and it instantly gives me the feedback for that particular circle. Okay, so that's personally how I like to use PCDMIS. Um, I like to just go to the part, use the feature recognition, algorithms and measure the stuff I know I need to measure and then go off and dimension it using my dimension toolbar you know very easily um, if I wanted to get some of these locations I could just go to my location thing highlight all my features um, turn off my alignment features let's say um, let's say turn off this angled line so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do a location on an angled line Put in a tolerance and let it rip. So to me, that's a lot faster than um, going through the quick start routines one thing at a time. Basically, I just went in and uh, created uh, all those dimensions, and it did it logically. It displayed all the correct axes for everything. Uh, if I want to, I can display, uh, again, the dimensions with the drawing. In your case, if you have PCDMIS Pro, which is more than likely, this will be the display of what you've measured on the screen. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> That's my uh, quick little demo for a manual machine. Again, a couple different ways to handle it. Um, but PCDMIS is totally customizable to however way you, know, you like to do things. All right, thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a great day.